The snowmobiling is just uh, my passion, you know. I, I grew up riding my snowmobile. I mean, heck, I'd ride my snowmobile to school and stuff. So I bombed to school on my sled. I mean, I rolled the thing around like it was my daily driver, you know. And once I started, you know, riding a lot, then I started racing, and pretty soon I'm doing freestyle and doing all kinds of things. And I mean, it was just neat because it was something that I'm, I'm passionate about. And then, you know, you start realizing, hey, like if you start working hard, applying yourself, really practicing, training, things like that, like you can do this for a living. And it's like, is that not the coolest thing you ever heard? <laughs> I'm definitely a competitor, but at the same time, I think uh, having fun might outrank my competitiveness. I mean, I just, I just love having fun. I've seen other guys do slip and slides. I started thinking, I'm like, man, wouldn't it be cool to like, like kind of amplify that a little bit? I'm claiming it was the best slip and slide ever. This crowd is gathered, they're anticipating a huge trick here tonight. Double backflip coming from Levi LaValle. Just before you go for a jump or something, for instance, the double flip, right before it, it was kind of weird because, you know, I was super nervous leading up to that because you're thinking, holy cow, this is one of the, the biggest things I've ever done and there's, the consequences are huge. And, you know, you think about that for weeks leading up to it. And then you get there and you're waiting to go and it, it kind of like slows down and it's like you become calm with it. So will he take a practice run or will he just do it, Taff? I think he's going for it. It's funny because the, the nerves kind of went away, at least for the double flip. I was like kind of like peaceful thinking, like I knew what I was getting into. I knew what the consequences and all that stuff was behind me. It was just go do it. My distance jumping history is is pretty pretty small. It's like zero to be honest. You know, but we for surely have to make it at least far enough to get across this water <laughs> and over those rocks too.